days I will show you I already posted this image before uh, this was a picture taken at uh, Kunduchi uh, near White Sands in Bezi basically in, in Dar es Salaam so what what I did with the image was I changed the color of the leaves to, to blue and the flowers I made them pop a little bit and this was the re result let me show you real quickly this is the result as I posted uh, online before so what I want to do is show you how I got this result I'll just do it real quickly and then uh, I'll show you so you can understand the basic procedure and you can use this um, adjustment or this technique in your other images because this this can be used in many many different ways so it's all up to you and you know you just use your creativity and you get amazing amazing results after so basically what I, I'm going to show you is the how I did it uh, I just turned off right now the the adjustment layer and uh, we're going to open a new one. Basically to open a new one you go to the adjustment panel right here as I clicked and you will go to the selective color. Uh, this is the adjustment which you're going to be using. It's going to open a new adjustment layer with a mask. The mask I will explain to you later is basically we're going to use to erase the areas we don't want to be affected by the adjustment. So right now what we're trying to do is we're trying to make these flowers pop. Um, a little bit red, a little bit maroonish, a little bit red and maroonish kind of color and uh, we're going to change the greens to to blue. Most of the time um, I play around with my with my with my work so I never know what result I might get because I don't want to do something really uh, step by step and I end up getting a result which is always the same. I try to mix it up every single time to get a different style so I'm just going to show you uh, what what I'm going to be playing around. So right now I'm in, when you're in the, well actually sorry, when you're in the adjustment layer for selective color, you have different panels. These are different colors which you can affect. So basically if I go to green, I'll affect the greens. If I go to the yellows, I'll affect the yellows. And if I, it's the same for every different other color. So if I go to the reds, I'll affect obviously the reds. So when I, these are the different layers, you have the cyan, the purples, the yellows, and the blacks, okay? So right now we're going to play around and uh, we're going to see what, what we're going to get. We're going to change. We're, we're going to get the color of the uh, flowers a little bit redder. So we're going to, you see, like, like li just a little shift to the left side, um, decreasing the blues. We make it a little bit pinker. And we, we like that color, but we're going for a more, a more stronger color. So we'll bring in uh, a little bit of the yellow to get that to get that in there, to get that punch. You see, this is the kind of color we're looking for. And uh, I'm liking this so far. So if you see at uh, the black, if we decrease the black, it becomes a little bit lighter. If we increase, it becomes a little bit darker. And we want a little bit darker because, as we said before, we want that um, you know maroonish, you know dark, you know reddish kind of color, as as we saw in the in the final edit. So after that, we're gonna go into the yellows and maybe decrease the yellows because we're gonna we're trying to get the blues. Um, out of the green you see so we're trying to get the blues we're always going to increase the blues here so what I'm doing is basically trying to increase the blues and I'm trying to decrease the greens um, and get the, the the color that we want for the leaves so we go to the greens as well and we increase the blue and we'll start slowly starting to see the change you see this this is a it shows if we decrease it you get a strong green color if you want that color you can play around you never know what happens maybe that's the image you want to end up with so I, I want a little bit blue, so we're going to play around. You see right there, just those that little change that we did right there gave us the, the, the kind of color we want for the leaves. You see, so we increase the blues, we increase the purples, and we decrease the yellows. You see, and we're getting that color which we wanted from the image we saw in the final product. Okay, so now we can play around a little bit. If we increase it, it's going to be, you know, a lighter blue, and we don't want that. We want it a little bit darker. So this is the kind of color. Sorry about that. That was my phone. Um, it's going a little bit darker. So right there, that's perfect. Okay, that's perfect. We can go to the blues as well, and maybe just increase it. You know, increase the darkness or increase the darkness into the blues, so it looks a little bit real. So yeah, and a little bit of uh, more more brighter blues. And I'm liking I'm liking this so far. I'm liking it. And um, so. Um, you can play around. So I was just trying to show you the little technique so you can use it as well in your images. But uh, another good uh, tip which I'll show you is this mask mask tool right here, mask layer. 
when you open the adjustment, uh, any adjustment layer, you'll, you'll get this mask. The mask basically is, you can use it as an eraser. It's an erasing place. So wherever you see the whole image right now is affected by the adjustment which we just made, you know, to change the leaves to blue and the um, flowers to red. What we want to do is erase because we can see that even the model is affected. We want to have the, the her original skin color and also original um, uh, this, the color for the for the fabric because if you're if you're doing a boutique shoot you don't want to have a different color for the person's uh, wardrobe okay so right now we'll go select the brush tool we'll get our brush this is the brush button the brush no, sorry this is the how the brush looks on the screen and we can increase the size we can decrease the size and right here what we want to do is select the layer mask and you have a bracket around it after you have the bracket around it um, when it's white basically you have to use a black foreground to erase um, the area which you don't want to be affected with the adjustment so right now what we're going to do is going to erase so when we erase we start seeing the image below the original image of the girl and her hair you know from the layer below which is this one so we're getting this we're getting we're basically erasing the adjustment to see this layer okay so we're erasing away we want to get that original color you know uh, and when you're raising you should always be careful because you don't want to erase in the area where you want the adjustment to be affected so you know like you don't want to go like that and then you see the green you see what I'm saying so if you did that accidentally and you want to go back basically what you have to do is change the foreground to white and basically it would it will unraise the area which okay if that's the word um, it will change the back the color to what the adjustment was you see so we're basically just bringing back the adjustment okay you can decrease it in some areas which are hard to get so you can you know go there you want your image to be perfect at the end of the day so the client is satisfied uh we'll move here as well you can see that there's a little green right there we don't want that because then we'll show that um the, the leaves were green before when i want to sell this image right i want to sell it to the client uh right there and i think we yeah that's good that's good and uh okay a little bit more because right there basically um there's another tip which you can use i you can see that i'm not going back and forth here to change it white or black there you can press the shortcut on the keyboard is x which just changes you can see it just changes it if you press x it will change from black and white so if i did a mistake like let's say if i if i erase then you see the green i just press x and it automatically you know give me the white and i can raise it back so guys, um, that's all for, for today from OGS. Uh, um, I will be releasing tutorials hopefully weekly or twice a week, depending on um, what you guys want me to post. This is was the, this was the first tutorial that I'm starting, and uh, I'm I'm gonna get better as time passes. Right now, I'm a little bit uh, rusty. Uh, I haven't done tutorials for a very long time. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope that uh, you were able to understand what I was saying. If you have any comments, you can leave them down at the comment box below. And um, you can subscribe to my page, to my website, and you can, to, you can sub, sorry, you can subscribe to, to my YouTube channel so you can get um, all the constant updates on my new posts. And I'll also be posting it on my page, so I'll post the links as well. Thank you for viewing. Have a great day. Take care.